So my favorite hairstyle is absolutely not this, actually, although I tend to do a lot of curls because it's convenient when there's wind or when there's a photo shoot, it gives you volume. But my favorite hairstyle is straight, like sleek and straight. If I could, I would get always like open hair and super long, super straight, but I don't get to do it very often because it looks greasy quite often when you put a lot of product in it or when you tend to keep it for one day, one day and a half, it gets greasy so easily. So yeah, but straight hair is my favorite, absolute favorite. Even if I let you go, you'll be just fine. Time to let it go. I am a big fan of natural products. I absolutely adore um, oils and uh, moisturizer and things that keep my hair quite moist because I tend to have dry hair. So when I don't travel and I have a break in between, you know, shoots and jobs and social network postings and things like that, I like to put a lot of oil in my hair. So very popular right now, it's coconut oil. Uh, I use that, the natural one. I use olive oil if I don't have anything else, or I use uh, pure argan oil, not the one with chemicals. You need to find the pure Moroccan one. And I try to soak it in and leave it at night. Actually, it does get all over my pillow, <laughs> but as my hair is quite dry, uh, it tends to absorb it. So I put it on like an hour before going to bed, so it tends to absorb it a bit. So when I sleep, my bed doesn't get too greasy and oily. And then wash it off properly, a couple of shampoos, really good conditioner, and that's about it. And in summer, I try to avoid too much blow drying. That's the best cure for my hair. Another lesson learned All I've lost this time Give up alone Wishing I am not a genius about um, braids So I can do a normal one But I want to learn how to do the fishtail braid I don't really know how to do that And I see a lot of girls doing it And I'm so envious I'm like, teach me please I would love to, to do it for Fashion Week. I have some ideas, maybe with extensions too, like a lateral one and very long braid. That would be amazing. Fashion Week uh, means running around in between shows and uh, doing my hair by myself gets really difficult unless I just keep one hairdo for the whole day but I'm gonna get probably help from a stylist or a girlfriend who's a hairdresser and we're gonna be trying to experiment outfits with uh, hair. If the outfit is very big and there's a lot of, you know, maybe a big jacket or a huge skirt, then I like to have my hair closed like either a chignon or a ponytail, very sleek, very simple, classy. And if the outfit is more masculine, I like to have big hair, uh, very feminine. So kind of a contrast. So we'll see. I'm often tempted to change my hair color because as a girl, when you want some change in your life, you're like, the first thing you do is to think about your hair. I've had a lot of hair colors when I was a teenager. I've experimented a lot. I had uh, dark brown, I had black, I had red, I had platinum blonde. And um, to get back to my shade was so hard. I tried it all and it never got to the proper exact color so I just let it grow out. I would like to have a shade of mm, chocolate brown. I love it but naturally obviously I'm blondish or dark blonde so it's difficult to maintain. It would mean that I have to go and do my roots to a hairdresser probably like at least once a month maybe twice a month and uh, it's a lot of maintenance whereas with natural hair I don't have to do much I just need to take care of it. And also, a lot of people know me with this hair color, so it would be quite of a shock if I just came with black hair or something like that. Another lesson learned, all of us this time.